One of the greatest challenges in the first instance was to find the course. And we looked at 28 courses in the UK, and none of them really hit that. They were OK, they weren't great. And we said, right, why don't we scan the world, look at the last 15 years' worth of weather, data, within three time zones of Kenya. So we started on this kind of um, treasure hunt, really. <laughs> We just didn't have much time, you know. It really did feel that we were under real, real pressure. The organiser of Berlin Marathon said, you guys not thought about the Vienna Marathon course? We should maybe have a look at that. So guys jumped on a plane, off they went, and they landed, and then maybe, as I think it was back to lunchtime, FaceTime, and the guys are there, Jumping up and down, <laughs> we found it, we got it, this is it. It's brilliant, you couldn't find it, and they were absolutely elated. The first contact we had was on uh, June 3rd. On June 13th, we've got the decision that Vienna will be the place. It was a wonderful time for me. The guys in Vienna, to them, this was a moment of potential history happening in their city, and they were overjoyed. I can't tell you how excited they were. I ran uh, 29 marathons already, and a big thing for me, organizing races and running them, this is something very special. The mayor of Vienna was really enthusiastic about it. If you want an iconic event, you know, what a great city that could put an iconic event on. Also, ich finde, was da bei dem Rennen gemacht wird, ich finde das sehr also, außergewöhnlich. Wenn man das unter zwei Stunden schafft, das ist genau so wie eine Sänger eine Oper singt mit hoher C. Vincero! I think it's a win situation for the sport, for Vienna also. Und ich bin schon sehr gespannt und ich hoffe auch, dass es geschafft wird. Elliot is the greatest marathon runner in the world. He is extremely strong in all yeah. respects. He's a very big idol of every marathon runner, I think. Yeah. The more we were talking about it, the more people got involved, and now everyone is really excited because they know it is such a big project, broadcasted all over the world. We came here today because our apartment is just around the corner from here and I work um, at the other side of the park. Um, and I've been watching the excitement build since the summer when people have been resurfacing the road and it's just one of the coolest things. In this project, we try everything to avoid any problems during the race. That starts with the power supply. We don't even use generators. This cable, for example, is 4.3 kilometers long and we have been working for 15 days already to install the, this cable on top of the lamps and then to get the power supply down to the different uh, places. And at the final end, we have five different weather stations on the Hauptallee, which can be used by Robbie, Robbie Kitchell, the performance guy. This is completely different to a normal race. This for me is now a fascinating experiment where you try to uh, influence all the factors that the first human being breaks the two hours. Ich bin eh, ich laufe immer hier und ich sehe und ich sehe, wie die Leute hier bemühen, ganz etwas herzurichten und und wenn das schafft, das wäre fantastisch. We try everything to provide the best service, the best conditions here on the Hauptallee, and I'm sure it will be a very, very emotional moment at the finish line.
I'm very optimistic and I think he'll make it, yeah. Und ich glaube, er wird das schaffen und von ganzem Herzen halte ich die Daumen. I live in Vienna and I'm just so excited about Eliud. Eliud Kipchoge, we are all behind you. Whether you make it or not, we are just so proud of you. What really amazes me is the collaboration and the commitment from all of the other people he's run with. And that must have been one of the things that was so exciting, is being able to work so closely with your competitors. And that's a wonderful thing. That tells me a lot about humanity.